Hey guys, in this video, let's install and configure AuditBeat. AuditBeat allows you to monitor user activity and processes in your Linux system. It communicates directly with the Linux AuditD framework and sends the data it has collected to Elasticsearch in real time. There are four steps to install and configure AuditBeat service. First, we'll install AuditBeat. Second, we'll configure AuditBeat and configure the three modules available inside AuditBeat service. Currently, these modules are AuditD, file integrity and system module. After that, we'll configure metric B to monitor the audit beat service. And finally, we'll start and enable audit beat service. Now, one thing to note is that there is no library load option in audit beat. Before we move to the lab system, let's have a look at each of these modules individually. And first, let's look at audit D module. Audit D module receives audit events from the Linux audit framework, which is part of the Linux kernel. What it does is it establishes a subscription to the kernel to receive audit events as they occur. Now one thing to note is that you might need to stop other services that are running on your system such as AuditD and GeneralD for this module to work. There are two different type of rules that you can configure inside AuditD module. The first rule is a file system rule. What this rule does is it allows the auditing of access to a particular file or a directory. Think of it as putting a watch on that particular file so you are notified when the file is being accessed or modified. The syntax of this rule is minus W, pass to the file that you need to put the watch on, minus P, permissions such as read, write, execute, minus K, key name. The next type of rule you can configure is a system call rule. What this rule does, it allows the logging of system calls that any specified program makes. The syntax of this rule is minus A, action which could be always or never filter which could be task exit user or exclude followed by system call which is specified by its name and finally you can use field and value to further modify the rule to match events based on a specific thing such as architecture group id process id etc now next let's have a look at file integrity module file integrity module sends events when a file is changed, which means when a file is created, updated or deleted on disk. It does that by creating a subscription with the OS to receive notification of changes to specific files or directories. Now, what it does is when you first start up this module, it performs an initial scan of all the paths that you've configured. And then it monitors those paths to detect any changes from since you've last run this module. It uses locally persisted data in order to send only events for new or modified files. Now, after this, let's have a look at the system module. System module collects various security related information about a system. All data sets send both periodic information, for example, a state of current running processes and real time changes. For example, when a process starts or stops, each data set sends two different types of information, state and events. State information is sent periodically and on system startup and can be controlled by using a configuration called state.period. Event information is sent as the event occurs, for example, when you start or stop a process. For event information, all data sets use poll model to retrieve that data. Frequency of polls can be controlled by the period configuration parameter. Now let's move on to the lab system. Here on my lab system, I've got the instructions to install and configure AuditBeat on ELK server on the left hand side and on the right hand side, I've got my SSH connection into the ELK server. So first, we'll have to install AuditBeat. To do that, let's type in sudo apt-get install AuditBeat. Now one thing to remember is that we are able to do this because we've done all the prerequisites to add Elasticsearch repository, the signing key and apt transport HTTPS package on this system already when we did the installation of Elasticsearch. If you haven't done that, you will not be able to do this step. So you'll have to go back to the step where we've installed Elasticsearch and do all those prerequisites on this machine. Now, after AuditBeat is installed, we can type in sudo nano slash etc slash auditbeat slash auditbeat.yaml to open up the AuditBeat configuration file. Now in this file, the first thing we'll do is we'll configure the modules. So first we'll configure AuditD module. To do that, let's go down and you'll see there's a section called identity changes and this section allows you to put in file watch rules that watch files such as 
group passwd and g shadow file you can either uncomment these to enable these rules or let's add a custom rule to put a watch on our elastic search and kibana configuration files so i've got the rule here minus w path to file is path to the elasticsearch.yaml file minus p for permissions and then permissions are wa and then the key is elk changes so let's just copy these two and paste it here vk for key and let's just also enable these rules now we can also watch for unauthorized access attempts to our system so let's use the default rules to do that now next let's configure the file integrity module now under file integrity you will see that there are some paths that are already configured such as bin user bin spin etc now let's add our custom paths for elastic search and kibana so copy paste now after this what i want to show you next is that there might be files that you do not want to monitor in the path that you specify under file integrity module you can exclude those files by using the exclude underscore file setting so i'll just copy this setting and paste it inside this file now what this setting does is it looks for a file name or a pattern for that file name and excludes those files from being watched now i've used a regex pattern that excludes the reference file so elasticsearch.reference or metric bit.reference file from being monitored next let's have a look at the system module there are two types of information that you can capture from system module first is the event information so this could be something like which packages were installed on your system or removed or updated the frequency to monitor this information can be modified using the period setting Currently, the default is set to be two minutes, so let's leave it at that. Second is the state information. State information can be monitored for things such as host, login, process, socket, and user by default, and this information can be collected for a frequency of 12 hours by default, but this can be modified by modifying the value of state.period variable. But we'll leave it as default at 12 hours. Now, we'll leave the rest of the settings as default, and we'll move on to the general settings. First, we'll configure a tag. So under tags, I'll uncomment it and add a tag called ELK. Next, under dashboards, I'll enable the default dashboards. After this, let's move on to the section Kibana. Here, let's uncomment the host URL. Now, after this, let's move on to the Elasticsearch output and uncomment protocol and change the protocol value to be HTTP. Next, let's add in the Elastic user's authentication details. Now, after this, let's configure logging. So, I'll uncomment logging.level but leave it as default debug. I'll also uncomment logging.selectors and again leave it as default as all selectors. Now, let's configure the logging to be to a file. So, let's copy this section, paste it here. Now, after this, let's go down and configure the HTTP monitoring. So let's copy these settings HTTP.enabled and HTTP.port. Now for audit beat, we'll configure the monitoring port to be 5068 because if you remember 5067 is being used by FileBeat in this uh, demo. Now we can save this file. Now after this, let's first check that beat XPack module is enabled in metric beat. So sudo metric beat modules list now you can see that beat x pack is enabled now after this let me just clear everything and now let's edit the beat x pack module configuration file so sudo nano slash etc slash metric beat slash beat slash modules dot d slash beat x pack dot yaml now in this file let's add the monitoring for audit beat so under hosts after the monitoring information for file beat i'll type in http localhost 5068 and now let's just save this now after this we can start audit beat so sudo systemctl start audit beat now let's check for the status of 
audit beat service status audit beat now this has failed for some reason so let's investigate first a good idea would be to look at the information that we've entered and make sure the syntax is correct so sudo nano etc slash audit beat slash audit beat dot yaml now it looks like that exclude files is configured incorrectly so let's just put some spaces here so that it follows the yaml syntax now let's just save this file and let's just try and restart our audit beat service so sudo systemctl start audit beat now let's just do a status again to see if it has come up now it looks like that was the issue and our audit beat service is now running now let's move on to our kibana instance to see some dashboards that it has created by default for us now here let's just first move to stack monitoring and demo elk and let's go down to beats and you can see that we've got audit beat service here now we can click on beats and then click on the audit beat service to look for some information about audit beat or we can go to home and then dashboard now here we can open one of these audit beat dashboards so let's just open up the file integrity dashboard now this is a sample dashboard that we can get out of audit beat you can see that the initial scan count was 1043 you can see the time the initial scan was done top owners and groups for our files the file that was most changed by file count and some file event summaries now after this let's move on and quickly configure audit beat for our web server now here on the lab system i've got the ssh connection into my web server so i'll type in sudo apt-get install audit beat now after this let's configure audit beat quickly so sudo nano slash hc slash audit beat slash audit beat dot yaml now let's add the file watches now on the web server what we'll do is we don't have elasticsearch and kibana.yaml files so i'll just copy this rule but then i'll modify it for my metric beat and file beat.yaml files i'll save it here and i'll change the path to file from elasticsearch to etc metric beat slash metric beat.yaml and we'll change the key to beat changes now i can copy this and paste here and change it to file beat and file beat.yaml so slash hc slash file beat slash file beat.yaml now since it's a web server one important file that you might want to watch on this server would be your apache web server files we can copy the same rule and change the path to point to the web server path so slash where slash www slash html slash index.html and we'll change the key to web server now after this let's move on to the file integrity module and here let's monitor where www slash html now we don't need to make any changes to the system module now let's move on to tags under general and here let's uncomment the tags setting and let's add the tag for web tier now let's enable this the default dashboards now let's go down under hosts and add in the internal IP address of my ELK server. So 192.168.1.34. And let's just do the same for Elasticsearch output. Let's change the protocol to HTTP and let's add in the password. Now let's go further down and add logging. And finally, 
let's configure XPAC monitoring. Now let's just save this file. And now let's add the monitoring information inside beat XPAC. So sudo nano slash etc slash metric beat slash modules dot d slash beat expat now in this now in this file again comma space http localhost 5068 now we can save this file as well and now let's start audit beat so sudo systemctl start audit beat now let's look for the status of audit beat service so sudo systemctl status audit beat it's running so let's move back to our kibana instance now here let's go to stack monitoring first and let's click on demo lk and here you can see that we've got two audit beats now you can also now go to dashboards and let's choose a different dashboard this time so let's just choose the system overview dashboard now this dashboard gives you an overview of your environment such as number of hosts in your environment, login count, login actions, user changes, OS distribution, process starts and stops, sockets opened and closed, package changes, etc. You can also get a list of your system events on the bottom right. Now what I want you to do after this is to go and install AuditBeat yourself on Web Server 2 and also try and explore other dashboards available under dashboards for audit beat to look at what sort of information you can get out of this service with this we've come to the end of this video thank you for watching i will see you in the next one bye if you like this video please subscribe to our youtube channel